have been in love th with the theater since I was very young. When I was seven, I saw my first Shakespeare play, Hamlet, and I've been a regular theater attendee ever since. My older sister, Claire, used to act in a lot of plays, and I would always insist on watching every rehearsal and going to every performance I could. I would even memorize lines from some of the plays, like one time she was in this play called Slavs by Tony Kushner, and, well, there were some lines in it that probably weren't appropriate for a six-year-old to be saying. Uh, I would recite them to my mom sometimes, and she would say, yeah, that's great, honey, just um, don't say that in front of anyone else, okay? <laughs> anyway, eventually, I began acting in plays as well, and my passion for the theater grew, or as Mr. Shakespeare would say, it is the show and seal of nature's truth where love's strong passion is impressed in youth. When I was 13, I was in this book group. We were reading the play 12 Angry Men, and we really liked it, so we decided to put on a production of it. A couple of our moms directed and stage managed, and we put on 12 Angry Women. I played juror number three. It was great. <laughs> I was taking a class on Shakespeare at Harvard Extension at the time, and I have been a long time Shakespeare lover, so I got the idea that I wanted to be in a Shakespeare play. The only problem was that I was 13 at the time, and I didn't really see many opportunities for kids my age to be in Shakespeare plays. Then I realized, hey, I could do a Shakespeare play. I have a big backyard. I have some friends. We did 12 Angry Women. I'm going to put on Hamlet. Now, I had acted before, but I'd never been in a Shakespeare play. And I really wanted to play Hamlet, so I figured I would direct myself. Another thing I had never done before. But I probably should have stopped and thought, hold on. I have absolutely no experience with any of this. I should get an adult to help or somebody who actually knows what they're doing. But I didn't. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't really think much about it. I had an overwhelming desire to do this, and nothing was going to stop me. I did have some great initial support. I went to my parents with the idea, and they said, yeah, go ahead, sounds great. <laughs> I went to my friend Jamila, and she said, only if I can play Horatio. <laughs> so as far as I was concerned, I had the support and resources I needed. I abridged the script, pulled together a cast, made a rehearsal schedule, and Youthquake Theater was born. Or, in the words of the bard, these are the youths that thunder at a playhouse, or backyard, as the case may be. <laughs> you know, it's amazing looking back on it now because there were so many problems that I had to deal with. I went through three Ophelias before one actually stayed, and I had to recast a couple other characters because other people quit. I didn't actually have a full committed cast until three weeks before the show because most people don't believe that a 13-year-old could successfully produce, direct, and star in Hamlet. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Even now, about half the people I tell just don't really understand the concept. It seems ridiculous to them that kids could actually be competent enough to do something like this. But I am living proof that we can because I stuck with it and we pulled it together in the end. We performed Hamlet in my backyard and people came and enjoyed it. And we had fun, so much fun. We were doing Shakespeare together in my backyard. We were working on this amazing material together with absolutely no adult help. We were interpreting the characters, figuring out costumes, blocking the scenes, all by ourselves. When we rehearsed, it wasn't just me telling the other actors what to do. Everybody was involved and everybody was contributing something. We were working on this wonderful play and we could do things the way we wanted on our own terms. And when Hamlet was over, I said, let's do another one. So we rented a theater this time, and we did another one, and another one, <laughs> and another one. <laughs> and now, two and a half years later, we have successfully completed eight productions and counting. For me, Youthquake began as a way to play Hamlet, but it became so much more than that. It through Youthquake, I learned how much fun directing is. I learned so many great skills like how to be in charge and deal with difficult situations. And it wasn't just me. I was watching my friends, most of them who'd never been in plays before, fall in love with acting and Shakespeare. 
Youth Quake Theater was a way to express creativity, become really great friends with people, and learn about Shakespeare through direct experience, doing his plays. I think a lot of people have really terrible experiences with Shakespeare because they first learn about him studying in school, and that's a really hard way to learn about Shakespeare. Sure, reading and writing about his plays is really interesting, but these are plays. They're meant to be seen, heard, and performed. I did take a class on Shakespeare, and I had to write essays about his plays, which I very enjoyed, by the way. But that was after I had seen his plays live dozens of times and experienced them the way they are meant to be experienced. I uh, was talking to my friend, Anna Mira, who played Lady Capulet in my Romeo and Juliet, and she was telling me about how she feels like she knows and understands that play completely, much better than her friend who's having a really difficult time studying it in school. So we were learning together, creating together. We were doing this not because somebody told us to, but because we wanted to. I feel so lucky that I am in a place where I have the freedom to pursue my passions. Youthquake Theater was created because I love theater and Shakespeare, be also because I live in a situation where I can think for myself. Nobody told me to do this. I had the idea on my own, and I carried it through on my own. It hasn't always been an easy ride, and there were times when I just wanted to give the whole thing up. There were times when I just got so frustrated because, well, people are people, and dealing with people is hard. But I could never do that because I love it too much. I have found the thing that I want to do with my life. I have found the thing that fills me with beauty and love and wonder, and I am so glad that I have found a way to share that passion with the world. And I will continue my journey when I direct and co-produce a youth-led production of The Tempest for Actor Shakespeare Project to be performed in March. That's a situation where the adults are working with the youth by giving us the opportunity to lead. I am so excited and thankful to Actor Shakespeare Project for giving youth that opportunity. You know, the name Youthquake is very fitting. It implies youth shaking things up and making some noise, and that's what I'm trying to do here. We are passionate, creative, and competent human beings, and whether it be starting a youth theater company or something else, if you give us space and trust, we can do extraordinary things. And I encourage all the young people out there to listen to the wisdom of Shakespeare. Rise up thy youthful blood, be valiant, and live. Thank you so much.